Amen. Gracious Father, we thank and bless your name for this great day in the lives of these matriculants and the life of this university. From their mother's wombs, you chose these young men and women and have been preparing them towards their future. Today, they are about to take another step on their education journey. They are going to be admitted officially to this university. This can only be by your grace, not by our might or anything. And so, Father, we say we bless your name, we thank you, we glorify you. May the good work that you have begun in them be brought to fruition. Begin the program with us, continue with us, and end with us. In the name of Jesus, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Please be seated. Vice Chancellor, Acting Pro Vice Chancellor, Deans, members of convocation, uh, distinguished invited guests, the SRC President, and uh, our dear matriculants, before I constitute the assembly for matriculation. I want to welcome all of us to this ceremony, which, like the chaplain said, is a ceremony to formally admit all fresh students in the 2021-2022 academic year. We're having the matriculation ceremony in two parts or two sessions. One session this morning and then another session in the afternoon. For some weeks now, you have been on the university campus after receiving your admission letters. And today is the day that the Vice Chancellor will formally recognize you and all of us as By the powers we vested as the Registrar of this University, I now declare the matriculation assembly for the fresh students of the University in the 2021-2022 academic year and the first session of it duly constituted. The band should give the tune for Gadiamus. And please, those manning the doors, do not allow matriculants in now.
So, shall we now? It's not like this. No, we are, not, yes, yes. We are in there. Like so that. Yes. Oh, okay. So go ahead with it. I should go. No, you are calling them. To this one. Yes. Please. Okay. All right. It is now time to present our matriculants. And I invite the Dean of the School of Graduate Studies to present the matriculants. Is Dr. Maxwell Selassie Akule. May all matriculants of the School of Graduate Studies stand and remain standing. Vice Chancellor, I, Dr. Maxwell Akule, Dean of the School of Graduate Studies, present to you matriculants from the School for Matriculation. They are made up of students from the departments of agricultural engineering and mechanical engineering who are to pursue the Masters of Technology program. I pray you to matriculate them. Thank you. Thank you, Dean of Graduate Studies. Next is the Dean of the Faculty of Art and Design, Dr. Richard Badebe. May all matriculants of the Faculty of Art and Design please stand and remain standing. Vice Chancellor, I, Dr. Richard Badebe, Dean of the Faculty of May all matriculants of the Faculty of Built and Trial Environment stand and remain standing. Vice Chancellor, I, Dr. George Harrison Kuf, Dean of the Faculty of Built and Natural Environment, present to you matriculants from the Faculty for Matriculation. They are made for students from the Department of Building Technology who are to pursue the Bachelor of Technology and higher national diploma programs of the faculty. I pray you to matriculate them. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Kofi. Now we invite the Dean of the Faculty of Engineering, Dr. Richard Texan, to present the matriculants of that faculty. May all the matriculants of the Faculty of Engineering stand and remain standing. Vice Engineering and Mechanical Engineering, who are to pursue the Bachelor of Technology and Higher National Diploma programs of the faculty. I pray you to matriculate them. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Texan. Vice Chancellor, we have come to an important stage in the matriculation ceremony. Our matriculants will have to sign a contract with you and the university. And they will do so by taking the matriculation of and declaration of obedience. So if you have your program brochures, 
you will turn to page 10, where the oath is. And you repeat after me, as loud as you can, so the vice chancellor can hear you and all your things, and the guests here seated. But remember, don't remove your masks. Speak in your mask, please. I'll say I and you mention your name, and then we go ahead in order. I, having been admitted to whole technical university, do hereby and hereon solemnly promise and pledge that I shall study diligently and foster good relationship with both my colleagues and staff of the university, that I shall not steal lie, fight, dress indecently, or cheat during examinations. We shall repeat that line. So <laughs> we are sure that you mean what you say. That I shall not steal, lie, fight, Dress indecently, or cheat during examinations. That I shall keep myself from immoral and illegal acts and habits, and that I shall refrain from the use of illicit drugs and rages that I shall not do anything that will bring the university into disrepute and that I shall abide by the existing rules and the regulations of the university and those that shall from time to time be formulated by the that I shall fulfill all my financial obligations to the university we shall repeat that one too that I shall fulfill all my financial obligations to the university I make these pledges willingly, willingly and without any compulsion, and with the full understanding that should I breach any of them, I shall submit myself to the disciplinary committee and its decision as shall be approved by the academic board. I affirm and totally submit myself by signing the matriculation register. So help me God. Thank you. Clap for them. Clap for them. We have just an important hope. Thank you. Now you remain standing. We will now invite our Vice Chancellor uh, to offer the matriculation pronouncements or to pronounce you matriculated. You. you have satisfied the entrance requirements of the Hu Technical University, 
and by the powers in me vested as Vice Chancellor, I do hereby formally matriculate you, admitting you to the rights, privileges, and responsibilities of the faculties and halls of residence to which you are assigned in the university. Congratulations. Please be seated. Okay, thank you. There will be time for dancing. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Shall we take our seats? Thank you very much. Control room, please, as soon as the... Please don't play, don't play. Listen to what I want to say. Control room. The anthem will be played after the student has finished giving the matriculation expectation. So take note. The anthem will be played after the student has finished speaking. Thank you very much. Dear matriculants, you have good cause to rejoice. You know why? Because we are in the best technical university in Ghana. I haven't heard that. So you have good cause to rejoice. Now, you have been here for some weeks. We want to know how you felt during this period and what your expectations are for the rest of your studentship period in this university. And to do that is Miss Ruby Mick. Mikado, Miss Ruby Mikado, a level 100 student of the Agric Engineering Department, HND Agric Engineering. If Ruby is here, 
Will you come upstairs? Yes. Ruby. She will read the expectations on behalf of all matriculants. The Vice Chancellor, Pro Vice Chancellor, Dean of Students, Deans of various faculties, Heads of Department, Lecturers, Fellow Students, Ladies and Gentlemen, all protocols acknowledged. Prof. Vice Chancellor, I am highly honored to stand before you to deliver this speech on behalf of all matriculants. This as a portion of the school anthem says, the hub, the hub technological and practical education in Ghana, Africa, and beyond. I can say that this noble institution is doing very well in achieving the earlier mentioned statement. After my West African examination, I encountered troubles in finding tertiary institution where I could start my education. It was a headache for me in selecting the best technical university in Ghana based on the course I want to do and its practical effectiveness. So I sought an advice from a senior staff at work who graduated from this institution. He preached a very good gospel about this institution and managed to convince me to apply for admission, of which I did. By God's grace, I successfully got admitted into this noble institution where I am offering HND in agricultural engineering. With the little time experience I have gained over here, I can say that indeed, lecturers and management are working Leslie in making whole technical university the best and premium technical university in Ghana and Africa as a whole. I hope that the university continues to give all students the platform where they can pursue their dreams and career plans. I also, sorry, I ask my fellow colleagues seated here listening to me to be law abiding students and refrain from vices such as stealing, fighting, and damaging of school properties. Students should focus on the main reason why we are here, which is to learn and have fun. I would also urge us all to take key interest in attending and participating in university functions that are organized to give us exposure and network since we will need them in life. Ways up to us all. I wish us all a lovely stay at HTU. May God bless us and make us great and strong. Thank you. So, Ruby is going to sign any bad experiences so far from your speech. So, thank you very much. Before we invite the Vice Chancellor to address us, shall we rise for the university and
Thank you very much. The conduct of the composer, Mr. Henry Prince Kumeko, we are grateful to you. The Vice Chancellor now addresses mat uh, your matriculants. Thank you very much. Are you happy? Give yourself a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. Many years ago, all of us here were like you. And that marked the beginning of our journey in life. And so it's indeed a very important ceremony. The acting pro vice chancellor, the registrar, the acting university librarian, the director of finance, director of audit, director of works and physical development, our very distinguished guests, the CEO of Design and Technology Institute, Ms. Constance Swanika and her team. Let's give them a round of applause. You are very, very privileged. Privileged because usually matriculation, it's a, a local show, but your matriculation, for the first time as I, I can recall, has become national and international because we have very distinguished guests who have seen it. Let's give them a round of applause once again. <laughs> Ms. Constance Wanika, CEO of Design and Technology Institute, and the team and the companies, Ascent and us, and the rest are our very close industry partners. They are in the university to perform, to further and deepen our collaboration. And they found time to witness your matriculation. And I think it's very significant. We thank you for coming. Deans and directors, heads of department and center coordinators, Yes. Hall Masters and Wardens, members of convocation, the SRC President and Executive, our distinguished friends from media, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Chairman of, and members of the University Council, the Executive Management Committee, the academic board, faculty, staff, and students of this university, I welcome you all to the 29th matriculation ceremony of the university. A very special welcome goes to our matriculants, who are our students, gathered here today, who have gained admission to pursue various programs at the Hutekka University. Indeed, Hotel University is an institution of great repute, and you ought to consider your admission as divine and a great accomplishment in your academic life. We pride ourselves as the hub of technology and practical education in Africa. I therefore wish to use this opportunity to congratulate you all on your formal admission into Who Technical University. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, matriculation ceremony is a formal process of initiation into the university and university life by fulfilling specific academic requirements and traditions such as signing of the matriculation register and taking the matriculation oath, which you have just done. This initiation ceremony is deliberately performed by the Vice Chancellor so as to afford you the opportunity to meet him for the first time. In 
the matriculation oath which you have just taken cements an agreement between yourselves and the university. The oath urges you to be of good behavior and obedient to all constituted authority while you remain students or junior members of the university in statu populare. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I wish to assure you, my dear matriculants, that you have joined a decent and respectable academic community with facility, resources, and qualified faculty and staff poised to guide and support your training and development in the university. Indeed, <coughs> we have created an enabling environment and established adequate support systems and services geared towards enhancing teaching and learning activities and equipping you with requisite skills and knowledge as you pursue your academic dreams at HTU. In addition to the mainstream of programs, the university has introduced value-added short courses, including learning of Chinese and French, which you can pursue to enhance your employability and competitiveness. Take advantage of these courses and acquire additional skills, irrespective of your particular field of study. An engineering student, you could work to the Department of Hospitality and Tourism and try to have some skills in cake making. Perhaps that will do the trick for you in the future when you are fully on your own. You may wish to go to the Department of Fashion to understand how behave so that you know what to do in life in the future. These are soft skills that you think you can add to yourself, irrespective of your faculty. So take advantage of these courses and acquire additional skills for the future. You will be expected to participate in supervised industrial attachment or internships which is expected to expose to illuminate and bridge the gap between industry and academia. Federal to this, the university has signed a number of MOUs with captains of industry to ensure that your training is holistic. I use this opportunity to charge you to be entrepreneurial and innovative at all times. Begin your study with an objective of contributing to resolve an aspect of Ghana's developmental challenges. I have always told the students at matriculation that we all like to chat using WhatsApp, Facebook, but the young man Zuckerberg that came out with this, perhaps at the time he did that, he might be younger than some of you can create something that can add value to the developmental goals of this country. Participate in sports and recreation to keep fit and also to represent the university at national and international competitions. So those of you who are sportsmen and women kindly contact the sports office for direction. It is therefore our hope that you will use this wonderful opportunity wisely to acquire the indispensable skills and knowledge to shoulder the responsibilities of supporting and effectively contributing to the growth and development of our dear nation after successfully completing your programs of study in the university. Good conduct and discipline. My dear matriculants, the prime objective of your admission to this university is to ensure that you graduate successfully to contribute effectively to national and international development. I therefore entreat you to commence this academic journey with a personal strategy of having the expected end in mind and be guided by that. This personal strategy and positive mindset will inform all your decision-making processes as steady and chart the course of academic excellence in your 
in the university. As you pursue your program, do not follow the crowd. Agritacha will say, you rather allow the crowd to follow you. Now you are all following Zuckerberg, the whole world, because he has come out with something. What are you going to come out with to allow the whole world, at least even if not the world, the village people at least to follow you? Think about that. You must always remember that self-discipline is key to overcoming any social or academic difficulties that might confront you in the course of your studies. I saw that the security have turned on some late comers. I don't know whether they are going to get me to matriculate them later. But I want to ask the faculty here, one step in the class, any student who comes, please, whether university or not, let them go home. That is the way to instill discipline with them, in them. If you are a lecturer, you are a lecturer, and a student come at any time that they like, then you are contributing to the path of indiscipline in this country. Because time is money. And it's very important. And I want to encourage all lecturers in a very nice way. Let them go back to doing what they were doing for which they were late. Unless for two reasons. You are the chief executive of your class. Because if we don't socialize them that way, they get to industry and they begin to expose themselves and their institution. I wish to charge you on this day. Make sure. And to, you see, I'm here to see a made in Ghana watch, let alone the African one. Maybe we'll get there. Maybe some of you will make. Even if we make one, we have to go by it. Thank you very much. I wish to remind you that acts such as sexual harassment and assault, examination malpractice, plagiarism, provocative dressing, occultism, fighting or any form of physical assault, stealing, noise making, use of drugs and alcohol are strictly prohibited in the university. Please, we learned long ago that university students don't fight. So even if we were as small as anything, you could argue out your point. Your friend will argue out his or her point. And so it's important that you don't fight. When you fight, you go and pack and leave before the registrar issues the notice of dismissal. Today, you see on telly people on high places fighting. Those are not good examples. Don't follow that. Because in a civilized society, you make your point and make my point. And then we agree to disagree. So don't follow everything that you see on telly as the right thing. In this university, when we see you fight or indulge in any vices, we will show you the door. Go stay in your village or your home and continue fighting there. Allow. I wish to entreat persons who are struggling with addictions and emotional instability to consult the guidance and counseling officer of the university for assistance. He's a well qualified clinical psychologist who is available to attend to your needs in confidence. You must always remember that. Self-discipline is key to overcoming any social or academic difficulties that might confront you in the course of your studies. For emphasis, you need to be reminded that you have been adopted as individuals and you will graduate as individuals. But whatever you do here will hold you solely accountable for all your actions and inactions as a student or junior members of the university. Again, the medical director of the university clinic and his staff are available and ready to provide the needed medical care and support to ensure good health on campus. If you are not feeling well, please go straight to the clinic. Don't stay till you are overwhelmed before you get there. It might be too late for you. 
Additionally, the, the Dean of Student Affairs and his supporting staff are ever ready to address any academic and social difficulties that may confront you. Most importantly, I would like to remind you of the importance of the student's humble and urge you all to study it carefully since the rules and regulations are binding on all students of the university. You have just taken an oath, which includes dressing decently. It's very important. As I see you here, I'm very happy about your how you look. But it's important that you maintain that at all times. Last year, I told the lecturers that provocative dressing is not allowed. And you know what I mean. It's important. Some of you, when you get home, you don't wear the things you work here. You wear here. A couple of weeks ago, I was driving and I met two young ladies. And what they were wearing was so appalling. Where were you? Instead, they were going for lectures. I advised them to go back and change. You see, it's always said that a lady must dress, and a lady's dress must be long enough to cover her vital parts, but short enough to generate interest. If you wear something and it's not covering your vital parts, know that the interest you are generating is negative interest. As students of the university, your first and topmost priority should always be your studies. You are also required to take attendance to lectures seriously, since anyone who absents himself or herself from lecture for a number of days could be barred from writing the end of semester examinations. Further, the university frowns on all forms of examination misconduct. The quickest way to get oneself thrown out of the university is to engage in any form of examination malpractice. My matriculants. Striking the balance between your academic work, social life, and extracurricular activities and religiosity will greatly enhance your progress, growth, and development on campus. The Godfather is so important in our life, but there are no credit hours allocated to praying, especially those, who, those of you who go to the field 12 midnight. You are alone there with the snakes and you are praying and disturbing people who are close by. Please put a stop to it. It is not how long you, play, you pray that matters, but your heart is what the Lord will always look at. I therefore encourage you to step out of your comfort zones and challenge yourself with positive and creative ideas and innovation as you pursue your dreams here. Further, I entreat you to carefully allocate appropriate measure of time for your studies, extracurricular activities, and use of social media. Indeed, social media has many benefits, but it could also become a total distraction and hindrance to your studies and progress if not handled or managed tactfully. Do not wait for the 11th hour to prepare for exams, projects, assignment or quizzes. Your preparation for life at ATU begins from this very moment. Ladies and gentlemen, and I entreat you not to focus on the challenges associated with the institution and your study, because beyond every challenge, there are countless opportunities. We are a public sector institution. Therefore, the challenges of Ghana, we also share part of that. So it's important for you to look beyond the challenges as always. And those who look beyond the challenges are the people who make it in life. As I bring my speech to an end, let me remind you that we are still not in normal times in view of the global impact of the COVID-19. Your continuous adherence to the safety protocol will ultimately inure to our benefit and survivor. The university clinic remains open for the vaccination of qualified individuals who are yet to be vaccinated. I am vaccinated fully, even looking for a booster to take again. 
So if you are not vaccinated yet, please take advantage of the vaccines available and have it. Once again, on behalf of the chairman and members of the University Council, management, the academic board, convocation, faculty, staff, and students, and on my own behalf, I would like to congratulate you on your admission to Hu Technical University. I want to reiterate that you have not made the wrong choice. You are the right place. Take advantage of it. And I wish you well as you embark upon an exciting academic journey at ATU. Your forebears have done it, and you can even do better. Enjoy your stay, and may the Lord crown all your efforts with success. God bless you as you begin this journey. Thank you for your attention. Adam Nazu Kekeli. Thank you.
Thank you. If you want to dance, as soon as the music start, start dancing. Eh? You don't wait when we are, we are ending before we are showing you skills. And some of you are acknowledged. Um, as we listen, the vice chancellors are acknowledged an important uh, group of guests in our midst. And we want to officially uh, acknowledge them. We are privileged to have. Madam Constance Swanika, the CEO of DTI, who has come to grace the occasion. Thank you, Madam. We are grateful. Also, part of the DTI team is Madam Koko Amatefio. She is the consultant for the production quality for DTI. Thank you, Madam, for coming. We also have the head of industry and workplace. Um, for DTI, and he is in the person, Mr. Mubarak Ahmed. Thank you. So, apart from the finance director, the entire DTI is here. So, that tells you the importance of this morning's ceremony. We are grateful for your presence. We want to also thank the, the Pro Vice Chancellor for making time to be here this morning. Dr. Edward Kwame Ayime, we are grateful. We want to thank the Acting University Liberian, Dr. George Banji, for coming. Thank you very much. We also want to acknowledge Mr. C.A. Augustin Kwame Owusu, and the Director of Finance. We want to also thank ACCA Justin. Uh, Chagli Anomanyo, Director of Internal Audit. You are welcome. Sometimes I feel we are not being fair to the accounting professionals. They are not able to use their title, so I'm using it for them. <laughs> and we also have Mr. Nicholas Awaga, the Director of Works and Physical Development. Thank you for coming. We have the Dean of the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology, Professor Christopher Mensah. Thank you for coming. We have the Dean, Faculty of Engineering, Dr. Texan Fifi Richard. Thank you for coming. We have Dr. Apple from the Graduate School, Dean, Graduate School. Dean, Faculty of Arts and Design, Dr. Richard Badebe. Dean, Faculty of Build and Natural Environment, Dr. George Harrison Kofi. Dean, Faculty of Applied Social Sciences, Dr. Peter Atakuma Agoja. We have the Dean of Students, Engineer Francis Ampiao. We have Okay, I'm sure I have exhausted my dean. Also, uh, in front of the dean is the maze bearer, John Adanti. And we have representing the dean of AT Business School, Dr. Dioda Adenuchi. Also, the head of the Department of Accounting and Finance. And Mr. Henry Prince Kumeko. Industrial Liaison Officer and the Director of the Staff Choir. I want to acknowledge the presence of the SRC President, Mr. Samuel Kisi Ampadu. That's your president, oh. You didn't acknowledge very well. Thank you. Uh, is it that I didn't say His Excellency Samuel Kisi Ampadu? Okay, we have the university chaplain, Reverend Father Sylvester Abezuge. Thank you for coming. We are grateful. We are also having almost all our heads of departments for the faculties for this morning session. Uh, let me acknowledge on the front row the director of planning and quality assurance, Dr. Engineer Meho Senyan Tuame. We also have 
an HOD for two departments. Uh, in the person of Mr. Mokoko Ajak Wadade for industrial art and fashion design and textiles. It's not an easy job. Um, let me acknowledge everybody, uh, all the heads of departments who are here, um, the administrative senior members who are attending this morning's function. You are all duly acknowledged. Thank you very much. If I haven't seen you, take it that I have seen you. The media men who are covering this morning's session, we are most grateful for your presence. Thank you all for coming. And the Mato clans for your comportment, we say thank you very much. <laughs> Except the late comments who are outside, they are not part of this thank you. Uh, next time when you are coming, come early if you want to be part of any function of the university. On this note, I bring the acknowledgement to an end. The registrar will dissolve the assembly. Vice Chancellor, Acting Pro Vice Chancellor Deans, members of convocation, students, our distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. The matriculation ceremony is over and in accordance with the statutes, rules, regulations, and conventions of this university, I have the honor to declare the first session of the matriculation assembly for the 2021-2022 academic year duly dissolved. Thank you all for coming. We shall remain standing after the closing prayer for the Vice Chancellor's party and the convocation to Thank you for being with us during this first session of matriculation. We thank you once more for the lives of our new students. May what you have begun with them and in them today be brought to a successful end. Keep them safe. Let them be focused. Let them be disciplined. And above all, may they never forget you on this journey so that you bless all their efforts and bring them to a successful end. We thank you and we bless your name. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. And may the blessings of the Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you now and forever.